What's going on everyone? It's Kamai Films and we're back with another effects tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create an insane bullet shell effect that you can use in any of your music video projects. If you like the videos I upload, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, so if you guys head over to this YouTube video, I'll leave a link down below in the description. You'll be able to download the video by copying the URL and pasting it into a third party website that we could find by Googling YouTube to MP4. Once you type in YouTube to MP4, it should be the first one. And then we're gonna paste in the URL right here. And when you scroll down, you should see 1080p. You wanna download it in the highest resolution possible. So we're gonna hit download. This um, screen opens up. We're gonna come down here to the bottom right of the video and hit download. All right, so once that's finished download, we're gonna jump back into Final Cut Pro and we're gonna import it by pressing Command I to bring up the import window. Go through your downloads folder and then import it, select on it and then import it. I already have it imported, so I'm gonna drag it down into the timeline. I'm gonna get rid of this beginning part with the title and the subscribe. Um, let's line it up with the beginning of our music video and get rid of the, the excess here. Let's get rid of the audio as well. Now, to get rid of this green screen, we're gonna have to hit it with a Kia. So let's open our effects panel and search up Kia. Drag and drop that onto the bullet shell effect. Now you can see it actually gave us a pretty good key. There's no um, bleeding or whatsoever on the bullet shell here. Even on the inside, it looks it looks very good. Also, you guys can see that the music video is speed ramp. So we're gonna have to match this bullet to the actual speed of this clip. You can see that it goes fast and then slow and then fast again towards the end. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna find where it actually, yeah, so it goes slow about right here. We're gonna hold shift on the keyboard and press the B button on the keyboard as well. What that does is it creates a cut for the speed. Now we could toggle this to go faster and this to go slower if we want. I'm gonna make this go about 60% and I'm gonna keep this side normal. Right when he starts going faster, about right here, we're gonna hold shift on the keyboard again and then press B as well. We're gonna make another cut and then at this end point, we're just gonna drag this over so it goes faster. So now you can see it speeds up right there. Now let me play for you guys so you can see. See how the shell goes slower and then it goes faster. That's exactly what we want right there. All right, after we get that done, we're just gonna wanna make a tracker point on um, this clip. I think right here is perfect because it stays in the scene the entire time that top left of the door frame. So I'm gonna come over here into the settings panel and hit this plus button right next to trackers while I have this clip selected. And what that does is it gives me these control points that I can now put over the edge of this door frame and hit this analyze button right here to analyze. So it's gonna, literally track this door frame for the entire scene. You see, it actually did a pretty good job. To link the bullet to this tracker, we're gonna click on the bullet layer and we're gonna hit the transform tool right here and then hit this little arrow up here to bring down this window. And we're just gonna click on the tracker that we made. If you named it when you created it, it'll have the name that you made. I forgot to name it, so it's called Object Track. Now when you play it, you can see that the bullet's moving left to right, exactly like how we tracked it to the bricks. Now we could move the position of this bullet to anywhere we want, change the scale, things like that. So I'm actually gonna bring it right over here. And let's play that through and see what it looks like. There we go. Now, let's add another bullet in here. So we're gonna hold the Option key as we drag down the clip and it creates a duplicate. 
And now what we could do here is very cool. We could change the rotation so it looks like a completely different bullet. And we could move it and change the scale as well to make it a little bit smaller. Let's drag it down here. And let's play it through. Let's see what we got here. Okay, okay. Now, what we're missing is a blur. We need a blur because you see how he's blurred out. What's really in focus here is the, the gun, his hand. Um, so we got to blur these bullets out. We're going to head into the effects panel and just type in Gaussian blur. And we're going to drag the Gaussian blur onto the green screen clips. Um, let's do both of them. And then let's just bring down the Gaussian blur. I put it to about 21. Let's bring this one down to about the same. All right, now let's look at the footage. Wow, that's looking really good. All right, cool. So the last thing that I think we need to do here is we have to color grade these shells so that way they match the scene a little bit better. Let's click on the top green screen and head into the color inspector. And let's just bring over the global little bit to like right here. Um, it wasn't even much, but now we're going to hit Command C to copy all the effects from this bullet shell. And then we're going to select the other bullet shell and hit Shift Command V. This brings up your paste attributes window where you could click what effects you want to paste from what you copied. We need to paste this color board, so we're going to unselect everything and just click color board. So that's going to paste the color board that we just made on this um, clip right here to this clip. Um, let's hit paste. Boom. As you can see, that's the difference in the color. It's a little bit pink originally. And now it's a little bit more yellowish. Now the bullet shells look a little bit more realistic because they match the scene. Um, another thing you can do is create a compound clip with, with um, the music video and the two green screen layers. And then just come over here, bring down the exposure a little bit. And then color grade them together so that way um, you could get like a universal color grade. And now when you look at it, it looks even better. All right, and that wraps up this effect. If you guys made it to the end of this video, I just want to give you a big thanks for supporting the channel. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Oh, and if you want to see me edit a fire ass intro or my top four music video effects, click one of these videos here.